Hi friends, uh, today we are going to discuss about a paginated report in Power BI. So uh, uh, I took an example of uh, um, the main report uh, for the given selection department, uh, how you are going to display the department details as well as the employee details through the sub report option. So if you see the implementation, this is the main report, paginated report which I created with the parameter uh, department name. For that, the data source already I have connected as uh, referencing Oracle here. If you see here, this is the local database which I am using it. Uh, this is the connection string I am completely using. How I build it, if you click the build option here, I am giving the user ID and credential with the connection string and uh, I will say OK and test the connection. If the connection is fine, it will result with connection created successfully. So thereafter what happened, the data source got created. Then the next immediate step is data set creation. Here in this case, the main report uh, will uh, show up the drop down for department number, department name selection. Okay, based on selection, it will go to the sub report. In each sub report, this parameter value which we selected, it will pass on to the department and subsequently the employee's information and, and it will populate to the, uh, the, the corresponding details for against the department uh, uh, selected. So, so this is the main report what we discussed now. Let me open the sub report one by one, how it is. Uh, uh, design but before to that if you open this sub report here the properties you can clearly understand the parameter this is how i have defined it the department name against the value which we are going to select it okay that's it and similarly in employees also oh, the same way but before to that we need to de define a uh, paginated report same way okay let me open uh, this rep the other uh, sub report here see uh, department okay if you see here this is the another sub report uh, uh, the same way uh, which I explained for the data sources here also we defined it uh, we declared and if you go to build and same with HR and the corresponding password okay once I given okay I will test the connection the connection is done if you come back here the data set this is the data set here in data set properties I define the query and in the bottom of it you can see the parameter which I am passing with the department name the parameter which I am passing it okay so based on this value you can when you go go uh, go and run in uh, the runtime and you you can validate the same for example, for the given IT information, IT department, I can get the information, department information against that. You see that? So this is how we got it. And uh, this is for the department information. Let's go and check the another sub report, get employees. Okay. See here, the same way the data source defined and data set. Here the data set, the query I am using here. Uh, for in the data set properties again the department name is passing the sub report so the bottom line is in the both the sub reports we are passing department name as the uh, argument which is coming from the main report okay so we can validate this also as a quick run if I run through this one for example IT as the department for that particular department what are the number of uh, employees belongs to it will display us the information so this is how these two uh, sub reports have been created with a parameter value okay so now let's open the main report again and make sure that it's running referencing this to sub reports as we discussed now if i run that but uh, the other interesting thing is i've created a department of uh, 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 here the data set with department name as the value this value will be using as a drop down value in the parameter if you go back to the parameter and see the parameter properties the available values here the data set and the value field and department name department name i'm using it the data set one is nothing but the the query information which is populated uh, through the query it will be set here and the default values if you don't select it the current value the first value from the query it will populate 
and it will fetch the results. Let us try to run and validate it. Okay. So now this is already published. Let us go back and see it in the publish section. Okay. If I go back, you see here the main report. See, as I told you, the default current first value, it will pull the information and get the value. For our verification, we can change the value and view the report here. You'll see the results down below. Okay. So this is a quick confirmation. So this is how the paginated report I have defined with the main and sub report references. Um, uh, hope this video is really helpful for you. Please subscribe my channel. Thanks for watching. Bye.